November 14, 1969, Apollo 12. Astronauts Pete Conrad, Dick Gordon, and Alan Bean are headed for the second moon landing. The need to make a fast decision is about to fall in controller John Aaron. He's in charge of electrical and environmental systems, his call sign, ECOM. The thing that makes a good ECOM is a natural curiosity about how things work, even if you don't are not responsible for them. Apollo 12 lifts off. It's Jerry Griffin's first launch as flight director. And all of a sudden, everything, all the data went away, and there was a big static in my headset. What the hell was that? I said, Ecom, what do you see? I looked down at all of my uh, telemetry data, the readouts from the spacecraft, and they were nonsensical. In the spacecraft, astronaut Alan Bean has no clue either. Lights pop on. Every, the alarm system comes on. More lights than I'd ever seen ever in the simulator. I mean, there was main bus A, main bus B. I got three fuel cell lights, an AC bus light, a fuel cell disconnect, AC bus overload, one and two, main bus A and B. Out. It's an electrical failure. The command module has lost main power. Emergency batteries take over, but they'll only last two hours. Mission Control is facing a launch abort, jettison the spacecraft, and blow up the Saturn V. Now John Aaron's curiosity pays off. A year earlier, during a test, he had seen a strange pattern of data and had learned about an obscure switch inside the command module that could fix it. I had seen that pattern before, and it had been one year since I had seen it. But it was like that pattern was written in my mind. The Saturn V's engines keep burning, but the command module on top of the rocket is barely alive, powered only by emergency batteries. Everyone expects ECOM to abort. Then Aaron makes a different call. I said, flight, tell them to take the SCE to Ox. Flight, come try SCE to Ox. And I said, what? SCE to AUX. I said, what's that? It was some obscure switch, signal condition electronics to auxiliary. I turned to the CAPCOM and I, Jerry Carr and I said, SCE to AUX, CAPCOM. And Carr said, what? <laughs> Mission Control comes back and says, Try SCE to auxiliary, over. SCE to auxiliary. It turned out Al Bean knew where that switch was. It was back over his shoulder. He threw the switch and we got all of our data back and we could see what the problem was. We got it back, Floyd. Looks good. Okay. Later analysis reveals Apollo 12 had been hit by lightning, which traveled down the rocket's exhaust to the ground, knocking the spacecraft's main electrical system offline. The obscure SCE switch wasn't designed for this situation, but it works. Thank God for mission control. Thank God for mission control. I didn't have any idea what to do. Pete Conrad broke out in nervous laughter. <laughs> you know what he did? I know what he did. He laughed all the way into orbit. <laughs> I never saw the light on the floor. It was the light on the floor. It was the light on the floor. 